Hey Sagittarius, welcome to Intuitive Gems. My name is Desiree and today I'll be doing your reading for the month of September 2024. If this is your first time catching one of my readings, whoa, <laughs> cards are dropping. If, if this is the first time <laughs> you're catching one of my readings, I do want to say welcome and I invite you to subscribe because I do these readings each and every month and I would love to share your tarot insights with you. I am your favorite tarot reader on YouTube and oh for the readings this month <laughs> we're using my groovy weight tarot deck. I will clarify with my radiant rider weight tarot and then Sagittarius I will close out your reading with a crystal well, wait, Healing Oracle Crystal Card. All right. All right, so I'm feeling a little bit flustered, Sagittarius, and I'm wondering if that's indicative of the energies that I'm picking up for you for the month of uh, September 2024. Here's the thing. I'm feeling like some of you are a little anxious. And I'm feeling like this anxiousness has to do with a specific person. All right. Whoa. All right. So when I say I'm feeling anxious, or when I say I'm picking up anxious energy, sometimes it, it has to do with what we're tapping into as it relates to what's going on for the month of September 2024. All right. Now, of course, this isn't going to apply to everyone in every situation. So I always say, you know, take what resonates, ignore what doesn't. But um, I am going to pick up what I am, what's coming through here. Like I said, I'm feeling like there's some anxiousness as it relates to a relationship. Because I've got this Ace of Cups and the Knight of Cups. And those are the two heavy hitters as it relates to relationships. All right, some of you may have a crush. Some of you may have something going on with your boyfriend, girlfriend, committed partner, whatever the case may be, your spouse. Um, there's definitely something going on and I feel like it's mutual, all right? But it's, it's causing anxiety <laughs> because um, both sides are thinking, well, I don't know, you know, if, if they're thinking this, or maybe they don't feel this way, or maybe they do feel this way, right? There's a lot of second guessing here. But here's the thing, this is really good because these two cards are in the upright. The Ace of Cups talks about the start of a brand new relationship, a brand new partnership, or just starting something that you're really wholly passionate about. All right, so the Ace of Cups is a really good card to kick off the month. And we have that Queen of Pentacles member. She's cautious, she's conservative. She doesn't do anything wild or crazy or take any unnecessary risk in any way. So the Queen of Pentacles is all about um, being very, very careful. However, she's very methodical. All right, so when we think about her as it relates to money, it means that we don't just do anything haphazardly. We research, we take our time, we ask questions and so forth. If we think about her as it relates to relationships, it's the same approach. Uh, you know, we're not gonna rush into anything. We're gonna make sure we vet the people <laughs> that we may be considering spending time with. We ask questions, we pick up on cues, uh, body language, energy. Um, we listen to what they say. All right, so it's about not taking any unnecessary risk. Next up, we do have the Four of Cups. This means you're gonna get an offer or an opportunity. It's gonna be exactly what you want. However, something about it may not necessarily jive, like maybe the timing, maybe the pay, something like that. However, this is really good. This means that you're actually excited about this offer and you may be willing to forego something because the offer is so good, right? So it's something to think about. Next up, we do have the Knight of Cups. This means somebody shows up in exactly the way you need them to. Again, I feel like this is a romantic partner for the majority of you. Now, even if you're single, this can still apply because this could be somebody that you kind of have your eye on. Maybe somebody you have a crush on. Maybe somebody you've been thinking about. Maybe somebody's been thinking about you, but you just don't think about them in that way. All right, Sagittarius, so this can be juicy no matter how you look at it. And again, some of you may not even be interested in <laughs> in romance right now and that's totally fine all right this this won't apply to you but for those of you who are interested in partnering those of you who are looking to connect with someone 
um, this may be, you know, something you want to consider. All right, next up we have the High Priestess card. The High Priestess card is all about tapping into your intuition and your spiritual gifts. The other thing about the High Priestess card is that she's a card of confidence and power. All right, Sagittarius, as we move into September, you're really going to be confident, powerful, feeling like you are on the top of your game, not only in life, but you know, everywhere, you know, work, business, whatever the case may be. We also have the Queen of Wands. Whenever I see her, this means that um, it's it's time to really pay attention to movement and it's time to really pay attention to your physical space. Something needs to change or you desire something to change. A lot of times I see this card when it's time to clear out clutter. Uh, that's not always the case. Sometimes it just means it's, it's, it's you making some type of a movement in some way, like changing geographical locations, maybe moving to a different area, maybe moving to um, a different office. All right, but that's a good card no matter how we look at it. All right, let's continue on here because like I said, change in the space is always good. So we have that Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is a card that talks about walking away from something. But because that card is in the reverse, this means that you may not necessarily be ready to walk away from something. Even though maybe you need to, maybe you want to, but maybe you're just not ready. Maybe the circumstances are not ideal. All right, Sag, so, Again, I'm feeling like that's something work-related. I really am. All right, so uh, Eight of Cups in the reverse means you're hesitating about walking away or letting go of something. That's okay, that's okay, really. Um, but again, I feel like at some point you are going to have to make, you know, to make a decision to walk away. We also have the Eight of Pentacles. You got two eights here, interesting. All right, so we got the Eight of Pentacles. This means you're gonna be very busy with work. More work usually means more money, more opportunity, more connections, more um, attention, more <laughs> whatever. So um, this is really, really good. This means, like I said, more is coming in, more of whatever it is that you want, because that's what you're working for. We also have the Five of Wands. Now, this is a communication card. Pay attention to the conversations you're having in the second week of September because I'm picking up that there's going to be some miscommunication here. Um, again, this is all about you making sure you document your end of the conversation or take notes or you know, email, whatever you gotta do. Because sometimes people, you know, they don't purposely they don't purposely, you know, <laughs> misunderstand, but we all know people who have selective hearing, so we just wanna be aware of that. Now, here's where things get really exciting. We've got the star card. The star card is a very positive card because this means that um, not only are you attracting a lot of attention, but you're attracting some new and exciting opportunities, not only in work, not only in love, but just in life in general. Sometimes the, the star card is considered the lucky star card. Um, so it also could indicate some good luck coming your way. Now, the other aspect of the star card is health and vitality, rejuvenation, healing, wellness, all of those good things. So for some of you who've been having some health challenges, know that you are getting better, you're getting stronger, and you are healing in very deep, deep cellular ways. Finally, we do have the Four of Swords. This means that um, for some of you, it may be time to take a step back, right? So even though you've got a lot going on, sometimes it's, it's better to kind of disconnect, withdraw, retreat to some degree, because that's when we can really get clear about a certain situation or figure out what our next move or what our next actions are going to be. All right, so. Don't be afraid to kind of go within. Don't be afraid to be alone. Don't be afraid to have time to yourself. Because I have a feeling it's gonna be a very enlightening, enlightening time for you. All right, Sagittarius, let's see what else shows up for you for the month of September, 2024. What do we need to know for the sign of Sagittarius? Got some of my favorite cards here. All right, so 
Remember how I talked about at the beginning of the month, Sag, I was feeling, picking up on a little bit of anxiousness and that's what I'm getting here with this Nine of Wands. So once we hit the second half of September, you may still be feeling anxious. You may still be feeling a little out of sorts. It's okay. It's okay because things are going to work out. I can tell you that. Uh, we have the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. Be careful about being too overly generous with anything that you got going on. Information, your time, your knowledge, your money even. Um, whenever I see this card in the reverse, it's telling me to tell you to be very careful about giving too much. Next, we have the Ten of Cups. This is the celebration card. This is also the celebration card. Then we've got that magician. Um, this means that something very positive is happening for you in the second half of September. Mm, I feel like this is life. Like I'm not picking up its specific money relationship. It's just really good. So I'm really, you're going to be in a really good place once we hit the second half of the month. All right. And you're going to hear some good news. You're going to be able to celebrate something, to embrace something, to enjoy something. All right. Uh, next up, we got the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups, again, this is the celebration card. This is also the card of event changes. Um, if you have some type of an event or a trip or something, this tells me that the details are going to be changed. You know, either it'll be a different date, maybe the time will change, uh, maybe there'll be a delay, maybe something will get rescheduled, something like that. All right, next up, we have the Hierophant. The Hierophant means that you've got to make your own plan all right, Sagittarius, because you've got a lot of things that you've got going on and things that you want to do, but it doesn't mean you have to do it the same way that everybody else is doing it. It doesn't mean that you have to do things the way that people told you that you have to do it, okay? So the Hierophant means that you've got to come up with your own game, your own game plan, your own system, your own method. Now, this could be in anything. It could be in work. It could be in business. It could be with the project you're working on. All right, it could be anything, but remember, sometimes you have the most success doing things your own way. So don't be afraid to go against, um, I guess, what is considered popular or what everybody considers the normal way of doing things. You probably have some solutions that are better, more efficient, and maybe even more powerful to some degree. All right, next up, we got the Magician card. The Magician card is a card that talks about alchemy. This is literally the card of creating exactly what you want using exactly what you have. I love this card because this is like creativity taken, <laughs> taken to the next level. All right, so that magician card, it's always good whenever we see him because that is a card that talks about creative solutions to your problems, which means you are not going to not have the answers you need for very long as a matter of fact whatever you need is making its way to you all right and that's because of your own creativity your own um, knowledge and experience and your own kind of specific formula that you're creating for yourself all right Sedge. all right give me one more card for Sagittarius all right, Sagittarius, you got to be careful because by the time we hit the end of September, you may be doing a lot more than what you want to do. But you know how sometimes we take on extra because we feel like that's what we need to do and I'm picking up that's what you feel like you need to do, Sagittarius. All right, let's start with that Five of Swords. Five of Swords means that um, you're probably going to have to distance yourself from someone who may not necessarily understand what you're trying to do, Sag. This is where I see you cutting yourself off from someone because they don't understand. Or sometimes you know how you just don't have the patience to deal with someone. <laughs> you know, sometimes, sometimes we need a break, you know, not only from things and circumstances, but from people too. And that's what I'm getting with this card. Next up, we got the star card. That's a repeater all good things remember what we talked about attracting a lot of attention big wins lucky star healing health rejuvenation whatever happens here it continues throughout the rest of the month we also have the ten of swords the ten of swords is all about um again i'm feeling like these two cards are related because this is also about letting go of emotions that are attached to a relationship 
especially if somebody was backstabby or somebody was gossipy. That's what I'm picking up. Um, again, cutting somebody off and being much better off because of it, having more peace, having more calm in your life just because you don't have to deal with somebody's nonsense. We also have the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles tells me to tell you, Sagittarius, that it's time for you to spend money on yourself. It's time for you to invest in yourself in some way because that's what you need to do. And I feel like you've been hemming and hawing, going back and forth, should I or shouldn't I? Yes, invest in the course. Hire the coach or the trainer or the consultant. Buy yourself the new computer. Buy yourself the new clothes. Why? Because you're investing in yourself and this is going to pay off more than you know. <laughs> it's going to pay off more than, than what you can even fathom. All right. Again, we got the Nine of Swords, the Nine of Swords, Ten of Wands. Like I said, I'm picking up this is you taking on too much. Because this card is sometimes worry or sometimes mental heaviness, right? Because, uh, you know, you're taking on a lot, you're thinking about a lot. And this happens towards the end of the month. The Ten of Wands means that you're taking on a lot, not only physically, but also mentally, emotionally, and maybe even spiritually in some cases. So be careful with that, Sagittarius, because you don't want to burn yourself out as we move into Q4, right? especially towards the end of the year. We got all that stuff that we got going on, the holidays, vacations, travel for some of us, right? So be very, very careful that you don't burn yourself out. Although Sagittarius, I know how hard you guys grind and you may just say, Desiree, I gotta do what I gotta do. So I'm just telling you to be careful if you're gonna be burning, you know, burning the candle at both ends, so to speak. All right, finally, we got the Seven of Wands. This is great communication. Remember, we talked about that earlier. Um, where did I see that? Here with the Five of Wands. Remember, we got the Seven of Wands in the reverse. This means that communication actually flows much better towards the end of the month. So this means that you're very clear and um, you're communicating very well. There's no misunderstandings as it relates to that. And the other thing about the Seven of Wands is that you're really standing up for yourself. And sometimes that's what it takes. It takes you standing up for yourself so people know that they can't just push you around or take advantage. All right? So, um, like I said, Sagittarius, I'm picking up on a, you know, some love energy, I guess would be. <laughs> The best way to say it, love energy. That's kind of what we were picking up towards the beginning of your reading. Um, but things kind of settle down as we move through the month, all right? I do see you taking on a lot, but Sagittarius, I know you can handle it. I know you can. All right, let's go ahead and close out your reading with a Healing Oracle Crystal card. Oh, wow, okay. I think you say this orpiment. If I'm saying that wrong, <laughs> feel free to correct me. All right, this is the card of success. Yes, yes, success. Success in every way, shape, or form, on every level, in every capacity, right? So success is your jam for the month of September, Sagittarius. Here's the thing, you're doing what it takes. You're doing what it takes to have the success, to experience the success, and to enjoy the success. All right, I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope it was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions and make sure you join me on Mondays and Fridays for Ask Me Anything Tarot Q&A Lives.